Hey guys, it's Ron. So, I found myself the other day having to monitor two different devices at the same time. Uh, one device was like a, uh, a control device. It moved different motors uh, and things of that nature of you know what I was working on. The other device uh, was a modem, and you know I needed to get into the, it to check its status. Okay, what kind of receive levels was it getting? You know, and all that good stuff. The problem was is both of those devices existed on different subnets. Uh, and because of the way that you know things were configured, I didn't really have the option to re-IP them. So I found myself uh, constantly uh, unplugging from one device, re-IP in my computer, plugging into the other device, checking the status, unplugging from that device, re-IP in my computer, plugging into the original device, and then controlling it. And so I was constantly jumping back and forth, uh, and it was a complete waste of time. You know, I spent way too much time just re -IP in my computer. So instead, what I started doing was I used a dumb switch, uh, and I, I call it a dumb switch because it's not like a standard uh, Cisco switch where you actually have to configure things and this and that. This is just an off-the-shelf little eight-port switch uh, that there's no configuration involved whatsoever. I plugged both of the devices into that switch and then plugged my computer into that switch. And then through uh, my local area connection properties, I added a second IP address. And this is where I found that some people have never seen that before. You didn't know that you could add multiple IP addresses to a Windows machine. So I'll just show you real quick how it's done. It's really easy. So you bring up your local uh, area connection properties. Uh, I'm using IPv4, so I'll go to Properties. Now, you use the following IP, so I've assigned my computer an IP address. Uh, I don't necessarily worry about uh, the default gateway uh, because I'm on the local LAN connected to it, basically. I'm not having to go through uh, another Layer 3 device to get to this device. So, you don't really need this as long as your IP falls in line with uh, it, the, the subnet that you're trying to reach, you're good to go. And then click Advanced. So drag it up here. And under Advanced, you can add another IP address. So edit. it'd be the same here. You just add another IP address and another subnet mask. Click OK, and it's added in there. And then you're good to go. Click OK to close them all. Uh, and uh, you should have two IP addresses now assigned to your NIC card and you should be able to hit both devices so as long as you're locally connected to them you know through this switch and not having to go through any kind of uh, layer 3 uh, and worry about any kind of routing you should be good to go so I hope you found the video informative uh, I know it uh, it helped me out saved me a lot of time uh, so if you ever find yourself in that kind of weird circumstance uh, feel free to use it. Alright, take it easy.